Confederate veterans served for it too. Why are they not being put in the Florida Veterans Hall of Fame? It's a scandal. David McAllister with the Sons of Confederate Veterans Group was outraged Monday. He's pushed for Confederate Florida soldiers to be honored in the state's Veterans Hall of Fame. With the fine men and women that are being inducted today, they should be alongside you all. Florida's governor and cabinet rejected three Confederate soldiers from the Hall of Fame earlier this year, including a former governor, U.S. senator, and Florida National Guardsman. These veterans that were under this flag were Florida veterans too. Dale Landry with the Florida NAACP has been against including the soldiers all year. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They need to keep it just as they have it for those veterans that have died serving this country. He also had strong words following the outburst. Nobody removed them. They let them come in. They let them stage and let them do all of that. Let, let anybody African American come here and they've got something that they want to be ready to do, I guarantee you they won't let them get up there that long. There have been increased calls around the country to remove the Confederate flag from public spaces, and Florida's capital city had their own run-in with the flag over the weekend. The Confederate flag was placed in front of Tallahassee City Hall Friday night before being removed. City officials condemned the act. That's the act of a coward. Uh, so it's not someone trying to express, uh, you know, political views. The main reason Confederate soldiers aren't currently allowed in the Hall of Fame, they never served in the United States military because they fought for the Confederacy. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.